Hi everybody, it's Raquel from Cali Scrapping Creations and I wanted to show you my latest mini that I just completed today. Um, as you can see, it's really, really chunky and thick. It's made out of um, chipboard, of course. And then I have it um, with the two rings on the side. I was going to put the ribbon here the way I usually do it, but I just chose to leave it that way for now. Um, on the front, you'll see... Um, this flower here, I bought it from Lily's Wholesale on Etsy. And I bought this and I bought a whole bunch of other flowers from her. Um, I have some feathers on the top. And then right there along there, that's the Wild Orchid Craft roses. Um, here's some Prima Bling there. And then there's some more roses there. Um, and then the title, it's, well, the, the writing on the front, it shows the supreme happy, happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved. And then right there, you'll see all those wild orchid craft flowers. And then I used um, trim that I purchased from um, Joann's. Um, I'll definitely order it from online from now on because it was like, $4.99 a yard so I ended up getting one yard and it was like five dollars just for one yard so I was like well I'll buy it this time but next time I'll definitely search around for less expensive prices so that's my book and I have it tied together with some sheer ribbon and I'll open the book here so um the color in the in the camera it looks like it's blue but it's really lavender so i just want you guys to know if this color is lavender i want you to think oh my god why does she have blue there and it's not even blue it's, it's not even um doesn't even match but it does but it's a, a lavender color but i don't know for some reason in the camera it looks blue <laughs> um so anyways this is the paper that i use from kn company I don't remember the name of the stack um, so it came with like this cute little border and then I put some lace there and um, let me start to open this it's it's so chunky I really didn't even think that it was gonna be this chunky um, so I might even redo the cover again and make the binding a little wider because it's is extremely chunky as you can see I, I like embellished it so much I got all these flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts, and with that, I just used them all through this book. Um, so this is the front, and this is a tag that pulls out here. And then it's my Martha Stewart punch. It's some sheer lace there. And it's just a card that goes in there. It's an envelope. Opens up like so. And then I have a butterfly um, from K and Company here. It's a, this is a butterfly from the collection and then there's like this little photo mat here. And then on the side, you'll see it's embellished with all these goodies. It has uh, flowers from K and Company here. Um, it has some feathers, some wild orchid craft flowers. And then this is a butterfly from the collection. Um, and then I just put some pearl beads there. And then of course, this is a mat for um, a photo. And then on this page, um, it's just a diagonal pocket. That's a K and Company butterfly. Here's some bling that I had in my stash and I used some stickles for these little dots on some of them. Here's some vintage lace and then these tags, they just come out. And that's the front. And then the back, I just left it pretty blank. Um, because I'm going to definitely try to journal more often. I don't journal. I'm going to try to start to get into it. So I kind of left those blanks so I won't put a picture there. Um, this book here, I made it today. It takes me usually about, like I said on my last video, it takes me about 10 hours to make the book. Today it took me about 8. I had such a fun time making this book because the paper line was so cute so when the paper line is cute you have a lot more fun making it um so on this side you'll see that there's some pearls right here with some more of that vintage lace and then there's a tag that comes out from there and then this part opens 
and then there's a tag that comes out on that side and then it opens up like so so these little flowers were from a Martha Stewart die cut 12 by 12 but I like the flowers much so I kind of just cut them out and stuck them on there and then this um, was from the collection and I just cut it out and then raise it up with pop dots on the side and then on this page that is from K and Company and then I just put some more of that sheer lathe to back it up with that so of course you can put a big photo here and then two smaller photos on the side and then as I turn the page see that's where it gets kind of chunky because I just went crazy with um, these pages the same trim from the front I used right here along the edge and then some wild orchid craft um, roses there and then this came from the collection it says sweet life and then I backed it with um, I just put some glue on the back and then there is some of those little baby roses from wild orchid crafts um, this is from wild orchid craft I mean I use wild orchid crafts all through it this is some pearl from my own stash um, with some feathers and then this flower is from Prima I'm gonna tell you guys if you guys don't know about wild orchid crafts definitely go to their website um, I love them so much more better than I am roses because wild orchid craft the quality if you look at the quality of the roses I mean it's it's so perfect I mean it couldn't have been any more perfect um, and then the prices are less expensive than I am roses too so definitely check out their website I'll put the link down there so you guys can go to their website as well because I'm definitely gonna keep ordering from them constantly um, and here are some flowers from wild orchid craft as well these uh, were K and company with some leaves that came in a collection um, and then as you can see it's just a mesh of a spray I guess they call them sprays so I did a spray here um, feathers some wild orchid craft this is a prima flower these are prima leaves and then this also came from wild orchid crafts um, and it's their crystal stems I think they call it crystal stems so you can actually fit a photo up underneath there and put a photo there um, and then on this page it's my favorite page in the whole entire book because I'm an Aquarius and purple is my favorite color so this is like decked out purple and green oh I love it this big flower is from Prima um, these are from Prima but then the inside is wild orchid craft and as you can see I did a spray with this this is from K and Company um, there's some more feathers I'm on this feather thing guys excuse me I just I'm just on this feather thing <laughs> and then this also is from K and Company it's just a die cut um, and then I have some pearls back there and then I have some of this lace here and then I just did these few little tags and I tried something new I did that um, Ranger powdery stuff on the back I can't even think of the name of it then I embossed this lettering um, not lettering these lines with a stamp and on each one it has that except for this one you can put a photo there oh and then there's a button with some little twine um, and then that one where you can put a photo and then this one where you can put um, journaling so you I like dusted that dusty stuff around the edge and then I stamped it with some flowers so that was something new that I tried I'm not too sure if I like it yet um, but stay tuned if you see it in my other books and you'll know okay I was liking it um, and then again these are all from wild orchid crafts and then this is my own sheer um, ribbon there um, those go back in there and then this page it was just some pearl beads that I used here and then the wild orchid craft right here um, this I actually traced it with some um, liquid pearls and then this is my own little spray that I did again with the purple feathers wild orchid craft there's prima flowers here and oh and this came from the K and company pack too and then I put some silver um, pearls there oh and then it has lace at the bottom and then it opens up my little velcro and then it opens up like this this was a 12 by 12 sheet 
from Martha Stewart die cut and I just cut it out and then I pasted it here because I liked it thought it was so cute um, so that's what I did with that and then this just closes like that um, and then this is the next page and um these right here these were the only ones that were from wild orchid craft it was i actually got it at my local scrapbook store uh, where they make some little flowers but i had them in my stash so i decided to use them but these of course are wild orchid crafts and then this it opens up like so so you can put a picture here and a picture here and then here is a spray that i did um i use like some orangey feathers they're all oh, blurry Wild Orchid Craft. Um, these are the roses that I got from my scrapbook store. And then I use this doily. Um, compliments to my grandmother. She had some um, scrapbooking stuff. Well, not scrap crafting stuff. And I was over her house yesterday and I kind of invaded her little area. And she had this cute little doily here. So I just put it on there. And then this is one of those crystal sprays. And then on this side, this is another one of my little sprays that I put together. I'm really liking and feeling this whole spray thing that I'm doing. Um, these were white and then I sprayed them with pomegranate um, tattered angels. Tattered angels? No, glimmer mist. Sorry, glimmer mist. And they're really a more purpley color than that but because of the camera it's showing like a violet color. Um, and then there's some pearls with some vintage lace. This butterfly is from Kane Company. And then these Wild Orchid Craft are just some little tags. I didn't put anything additional on them because I just wanted them plain and simple. But of course they can be for photos and or journaling. Whichever you choose to do. And then turning the page, here's the last page. And the last page I just did like a spray of like all types of stuff. So it's Prima um, crocheted flower. There's a birdie from K and Company. This is from K and Company. Oh, these skeleton leaves are from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, and I really like this. I really like that page. And then it just opens up like so. It's so big and chunky. I can't even position it right. But it opens up like so. So you can put a picture here. And then here is a pocket where you can put some more pictures there and a photo there. And then on this side, it just has lace on the side. And then the border trim that came with it. And my paper just kind of got away with me. It just went all the way over there. All right. So that is my book. Oh, and here's the back. So I just kind of took that trim all the way around. So um, as you can see, this book was extremely chunky. I just embellished it like way too much. Um... So soon I'll be putting it on my Etsy site for sale or I just might keep this one. I'm not sure yet. Um, but if any of you would like to purchase it before I decide, then let me know by leaving a comment below or sending me a personal message and I will get back to you. Thank you so much, guys. You have a wonderful Monday. Bye-bye.